It is time once again for the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament, where we are playing with Giraffe and Banana here. Innovation, we're just starting their um, leg of the tournament. The loser will get minus 350 points on the board, and the winner will continue on to the finals of this four-person micro tournament. All right, so we already got all set up, and we started our draw for cards. Uh, banana has the umbrella and the wheel. Um, I think she'll go ahead and put the wheel down first, and then get a maybe her like early plan, which can change, um, is to get a bunch of cards and then use the umbrella to meld and score cards. Seems like you want to have the wheel first in order for that to happen, though. So she'll go ahead and meld that as her starting card. I guess I don't have to put it upside down because Giraffe is two-dimensional and she's staring up, so she can't even see that card. And then Giraffe has Noodles and Agriculture. Uh... Yeah, that's a tough one. Um... I think she likes the idea of noodles better, even though she's into her flowers. So we'll go ahead and put, and meld noodles for her starting card. And that's gonna make giraffe first. Um, I think she'll go ahead and, uh, she only gets one action. Uh, She doesn't have more ones in her hand than every other player. And and she sees now that Banana, see if she sees, she can look now, that Banana has the wheel. So if to have more ones in her hand, the Banana seems unlikely. So I think what she's gonna do is she's gonna meld in hopes that the artifact of history that she gets will be helpful. If you meld a one on a one, you get a one artifact of history. And that's what, what she has. She has Sibidu Needle which lets her draw and reveal a one. If she has a top card of matching color and value to the drawn card, score the drawn card and repeat this effect. So that's a good one if you have a lot of cards on your board, a lot of different colors uh, represented. Over to Banana. Banana. Banana has this umbrella. She's gonna go ahead and use the wheel to draw two ones. And then I think she's just gonna do that again. Um, I think Giraffe is going to meld Sibidu Needle, which lets her draw a City of Destiny. She got Lindsay. Um, I think she will meld Lindsay, which lets her do a search. That's what this icon means here. Uh, she got Clothing, which does not have a tower, so she has to return it. Um, but she also gets another no, she gets another artifact of history. And it's Papyrus of Ani. Return a purple card from your hand. If you do draw and reveal a card of value of, of any type of value too higher, the drawn card oh, that's pretty good. So she's gonna want to keep that till she gets a purple card. Because she can bump up to the threes. Alright, so now we're over to banana. Banana, does she want to go ahead and meld umbrella and use it now? No, she doesn't. I think she wants to do another turn of the wheel. Another turn full of the wheel where she's just drawing a bunch of ones. Well, let's have her draw two ones and see what they are. Okay, so now she could use tools to jump up ahead. But I think Banana is fairly conservative. It says so on her card, so she's gonna kind of stick with her original thing. She's not going to... Um, let new options sway her from her strategy as much as I maybe would. It's a really tricky thing with real people cards um, is like you you want to use them to like change your own way of play but you have to like ignore a lot of your own intuitions. So you have to kind of um, have the real people have their own intuitions which is partially why I'm doing this Twitch streaming thing because when there are people here, 
they can kind of become the intuition of the real people by through their feedback. Um, and uh, last time I streamed, we had a little of that. Not last time I streamed, but yes, last night when I streamed, we had a little of that, and that was exciting for me because that's that's kind of why I'm doing this here. Not that it always has to happen, but when it does, that's magical to this this real person right here. It's me right here. That's what I I'm aiming for. All right. Um, I think she's gonna go ahead and meld papyrus of honey. This is uh, giraffe we're talking about here. And that's going to give her a City of Destiny. Again, a yellow card. She's getting a lot of those. She's really looking for a purple. Um, but it might. she might as well just meld this one. Because she gets another artifact of history. Again, not purple. And then she also gets to search, which maybe will give her a purple card. It does not. It doesn't give her any card. All right. So she melded twice. Okay. So I think, so Banana's not gonna trigger the umbrella until she is in a place where she can, so she can score two for every one she returns. She'd also like to be able to meld a card. So right now, she's got three, three. Yeah, she needs to do wheel again. Now she has masonry. This might be something, and you notice, I uh, i don't know if I talked about it in this stream or the last one, I already have been like forgetting about my rules. Um, but I think I found out my my rule variant that I proposed. Um, that rule variant doesn't work in all circumstances and it, it messes with the game too much. So we're just not gonna use it. Let's just not use it. We used it on the initial um, card draw for them. I think that's enough. Maybe if they're just drawing a card from an age, we'll just sometimes do it. We'll be fuzzy about it. So she has masonry now. With masonry, she could meld a bunch of cards um, as opposed to just scoring a bunch of ones. <laughs> she could meld a bunch of cards and then also get the uh, monument achievement, which would give her the achievement she kind of is looking for by scoring a bunch. Um, and then she also wouldn't be covering up her wheel. She wouldn't be cutting off all of her options, really. I think she's gonna do it. I think that's a good move. So she'll go ahead and meld masonry now, I guess. Give herself a city of destiny, Hatusa. Okay. I think she'll go ahead and just activate this card right now. Um, by she, I'm talking about giraffe. She's gonna draw and reveal a three. If she does not have a top card of the drawn card's color, she'll meld it and repeat this dogma effect. We'll return it, because that's what she's doing. She does have a top card of the drawn card's color, so she's just gonna keep it. Um, and that took no actions. But she still doesn't have a purple card in her hand. I don't know if the Papyrus of Ani is that. Well, I think she's not going to sweat it. She's going to meld optics, which will give her a um, City of Destiny. Or no, an Artifact of History, sorry. Because the icons match up here. It'll be a one. You always get an artifact based on the card you're covering up, not the top card on your board. Lurgan Canoe. Meld a card from your hand, score all other cards of the same color from your board. If you scored at least one card, repeat this effect. That one can be insane. I've seen that one, one at work. It really damages your own board, but lets you score a lot. Then I think she's going to just go ahead and do optics to draw and meld a three. And it does have a crown, so she gets to draw and score a flower. Oh, you know what she could do instead, actually? I already did it. I was, she could have done an endorse action. Let's actually back up, because here's me talking and being too hasty. I think that's what happened. Um, now I don't think she can use this one to tuck for the endorse action, so she's just going to draw a card. And it's the paper, so she can't tuck that, I think. Okay, let's read the endorse action. This is a like the wonkiest action 
in Innovation. Where's the little cheat sheet card here? I guess I could just look at the rules. But it seems like I have the cheat sheet cards. Ah, we're just going to get the rules. Okay. Endorse. It is in here. I figured it would be in bold. Cities, city icons. Endorse action. To take an endorse action, perform the following steps. Choose the top card on your board that you want to endorse and note its featured icon. So in this case, we're looking for crown. Choose a top card on your board. It must have the featured icon on it. Oh, a top city. This one does. Pay for the endorse by tucking a card from your hand of value. Yeah, it has to be equal or lower than the city. So she couldn't actually endorse right now anyway, because she she's not going to get a one. Um, so we will do our original action. Okay, so she'll meld this. Draw and score a four. And then that was... Yeah, she melded this as an action, then she dogmed it. Okay, so she's done. Okay, we'll go back over to uh, Banana, who's going to do something far more exciting. She is going to meld a bunch of cards and then get the monument achievement. So I'm just putting aside the ones she can't meld. And I think it'll go like this. We're gonna have some space issues here. Ah, the gaga! No, no, no! Okay, okay, we're okay. I want that to go up. And like that. That's a little too wide. And that there. Perfect. Perfect. We love it. All right. We should just need to use more of this, like, northerly space here on a conventional map. Okay, so she's melding a bunch of cards with towers. She was going to score a bunch of cards, but she's going to meld a bunch anyway instead and change. Nope. Okay. So basically, we're just looking at what we want the top card to be. Go ahead and cover that one. Mm. I think she'll do it like this. Boom. All right. So she was kind of hung up on her umbrella for a while, but she's gotten over it. That was one action. What does she want to do now? She could draw two ones or... So she has archery showing, but giraffe does not have a hand. She could just do this. Um, she's going to return three cards from her hand in order to draw... Oh, yeah, giraffe would have gotten to do this too, but she can't. Uh, return three cards from her hand in order to draw and meld a three. Sure, let's do that. All right, she got alchemy. Back to Giraffe. Giraffe's gonna get rid of the Lurgan Canoe. Though she could also just meld it. Nah, eh, huh? Yeah, that wouldn't be so bad. Nah, not gonna do it. Okay. So, I know Giraffe has four points. And if this doesn't work out well, she will have to give a card to Banana, a scorecard, but she's gonna go ahead and do it. Anyway, she's gonna draw and meld a three with optics, and she does have to get Banana this four score. Now she got machinery. I demand you exchange all the cards in your hand with all the highest cards in my hand. That's not gonna do anything. Splain or red cards left wouldn't be bad. Eh. 
think she's just gonna do it again because it's not gonna she doesn't have to worry about giving up anything to giraffe now draw and melda three this time it's medicine if she can splay that yellow stack it is really thick all she's been getting is yellow this whole game that's not true but she's been getting a lot of yellow this whole game and melding a lot of yellow this whole game I'm gonna put this up a little bit just so I have better posture I think that will make my posture better just by having that up because then I'll try to just keep my posture good. Nope. A little up more. Posture. So I just don't ever notice myself in the picture, but maybe I'll try to notice myself in the picture and work on my posture while I'm doing this. All right. Um... Okay, Banana will do Mysticism. Draw and reveal a one. You know what I could do with my variant is instead of them just returning the card, they just will be less likely to use a card unless they agree with it. And I think Banana's not that into Mysticism, so would she have even put that on top? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think she would have. We're going to have her use the wheel. Draw two ones. What she wants to do now is score so she can achieve. Banana is a score achieve type player, even though she just went for a big board. Okay, so she... That's pretty good. So then she'll meld candles. That's going to give her an artifact of history. In here for some reason, and now she has the score she needs for an achievement. Now, here's a really compelling card here Dancing Girl. Dancing Girl essentially, if you can get it to work, you just win the game. But the problem is, is the tricky thing with it is in order to get it to work, you have to compel, um, you have to compel, which means you have to have equal or less of the icon. And the icon in question is light bulbs, and it comes with three light bulbs. So, but it definitely, it, it will change the way the other player behaves because they're not going to want to meld cards with light bulbs. Because they could just lose. Like right now, it's Giraffe's turn, and she has to be thinking, do I want to just use optics draw and meld effect because I could meld a card that has three light bulbs on it, and then I'm screwed. I think instead, yeah, see, that's really going to affect her. She could use her medicine demand to get this score back, which will keep giraffe from, or uh, banana, excuse me, I'm sorry, uh, from achieving. That's one way she could deal with this situation, or she could just draw. Um... I think she's going to use Sibidu Needle, though. Oh, uh, no. That's actually going to just help Banana more, too. Banana has more towers. And I don't know that the... You know, Banana's just going to keep... Okay, yeah, yeah. She... It would, it would make her score pretty much all the ones, probably, unless one of them is blue. But I think we saw two blue ones already, right? And she... Oh, but she doesn't have a blue card in her hand. So it might stop it. That just seems a little too random for Giraffe's taste. I think Giraffe's just going to draw a card. And she likes this one. It lets her splay her yellow ones left. So she's going to meld that and put that right there. You can see it. It's feudalism. Um, which gives her a city of destiny. All right. Back over to Banana, who is going to take an achievement, which gives Giraffe a figure in the sand to go in her hand. All right. And then... What do you want to do now? 
you still want to keep the dancing girl there even if you're not going to use it. Um, Sorry, I'm thinking none of her dogma actions seem that exciting to her right now. Um, mysticism does, but I think Banana is not fond of mysticism, so I think she's not going to use it. And mysticism is showing it. Alchemy also, she's not fond of that. I think she's just going to draw. Here's another tough balance, or here's a tough balance in real people. I'm having the people do things I wouldn't do, right? I think that's kind of what you want, right? You have the real people cards to, in part, to like create situations that you wouldn't create if you were just playing yourself, essentially. Um, but then are you just like causing deliberate bad play? Like you also want them to play the best they can. The thing is, is that is measured by your own like preconceptions as to like what how you should play so it's really tough to get that right and you never really know what, unless you're like someone who's a master of the game right and I'm by far not a master of this game or any game so I don't know what to tell you I'm sorry um, all right so we are gonna go ahead and use feudalism um, Banana will get to copy it, but that's okay. She can splay her yellow or purple cards left. She will splay her purple cards left. And that gives her a City of Destiny. Giraffe gets to splay her yellow cards left. Which thankfully does not reveal any more light bulbs. And that will give her a City of Destiny. I don't know why this is sitting there. It should be in her hand. Um, yeah, I think she she may as well just meld this because melding this will not only give you give her another city of destiny, oh, city of destiny train here, but it will also give her an artifact of history, the Charter of Liberties. Took a card from your hand. If you do display it, left its color, then choose a splayed color on any player's board. Execute all of that colors top card non demand effects without sharing that sounds really good um all right problem with the charter of liberties is it has two light bulbs on it and remember we're watching light bulbs because of this dancing girl in her enticing ways um okay i think we're going to cover up that vicious that that terrible alchemy with hang oh yeah, if she does this, she's kind of like canceling Dancing Girl's power. I think she's going to do it anyway. Oh, well, let's look at what else she has. She has homing pigeons. Um, the demand wouldn't do anything. You may splay your red or green cards left. That wouldn't be so bad. And it would give her points. And Banana is a score achiever. So maybe what she'll do is she'll meld homing pigeons. She'll display her red or green cards left. Um, do I have too many? You have too many cities. Of... Oh, that's right. Because I had set this one somewhere. Okay, we're going to go back a little bit. She's going to keep that here. She would have melded this one as well. I don't remember what I did. Better meld one. I thought she did. Sorry, I'm thinking. Oh, she did this one, this thing, which would have given her one. So she would have melded this and done that, and then not gotten this one. That's where we're at. Okay, we fixed it. Um. she wants to have a, a new city that's why 
Um, yeah, so she melded homing pigeons. Nothing for getting that. And then she'll go ahead and dogma it. She can splay her red or green cards left. She wants to splay her red cards left. Uh, I think Giraffe is going to pass on copying, actually. Because she has the Charter of Liberties, right? And she doesn't get anything for that splay edge. Yeah, I'm being a little too, I don't know. I don't really agree with that move, but Banana does, I guess. Okay, back over to Giraffe. Does she want to go ahead and use Charter of Liberties right now? I think she will, because she doesn't want Dancing Girl to get her. So she doesn't want to meld it, which is maybe what she would want to do. So she's going to tuck a card from her hand. If she does, she splays it. I think she's going to wait till next turn, because she wants to keep on this city train here. She's going to meld that, give herself a new City of Destiny, and then... Ooh, I think she'll do it this way. So she could go ahead. No, she doesn't want to use the optics twice. Okay. She's going to meld this. Oh, again, she doesn't want to do that yet because of the Charter of, of Liberties. Okay. She, I tend to try to get the most I can out of a turn. Um, but sometimes that makes it so you kind of feel like doing nothing. And... In which case you like get less out of one turn because you do less so that you can get more out of a future turn. I think she will just go ahead and meld this. The reason why she wouldn't is because she wants to um, be able to put down a artifact of history when she does that. But that gives her a four and that's pretty good. So she will just do that. We're all happy about it. All right. Over to Banana. She's keeping her dancing girl. She's going to splay her... Oh, well, she's not keeping her dancing girl. She's going to move on. No, she's keeping her dancing girl, but she's going to go ahead and meld Hengso over the alchemy anyway in order to get a four so she can kind of keep up with Giraffe. And then... She could splay her red or green cards left, but I think she's going to meld this actually instead. She's going to meld Barometer so that she's in the fours, and Giraffe should know she got there first. All right. Um, Giraffe is now going to use her Charter of Liberties to tuck a card from her hand. She has to splay it left, and then she gets to choose something on someone else's board to go ahead and just do. Um, oh, of that color. So I guess basically she gets to draw a three. Is it all, is it just, yeah, non-demand effects. So she gets to draw three, that's great, okay. Charter of Liberties. All right, then she's going to go ahead and meld Reformation and Dogma it. Display her yellow cards right. And get a city of destiny. All right, back over to banana. I might need a little break here soon. I don't know. I might not. Maybe just a small one, like a, like where I don't even switch it to the waiting screen. But yeah, maybe I'll just do that now. I'll take like a teeny tiny, just like stretch my legs. I have a hard time sitting for this long in any situation. I'm terrible at meetings.
absolutely nothing. So that wasn't too long. That was that was small. And I feel I feel good. I feel ready. All right, it was Banana's turn. What does Barometer do? That's her forecast something. Unfortunately, actually, so she can get the Destiny achievement by doing it multiple times. That seems like a banana thing to do, don't you think? I think so. Uh, so she will go ahead and forecast a five. It's future planning, that's very conservative. Um, and then, oh, if any are blue, she can claim the destiny achievement. Oh, but she would also get to do all of this. I think that's okay, because she doesn't mind getting a figure in the sand. All right, so she will two higher than a, a bonus on her board. She's got a six. Now, I think she's kind of scared to do it again, because she does not want, she doesn't know what color giraffe got, and she doesn't want giraffe to get that destiny achievement. Uh, banana is definitely like playing the game on achievements versus um, going high in age, even though she is trying to compete in that as well. All right, so she got Yi Sun Sin, Sun Sin, Sin, Sin. If you would score a card of a color you have splayed, instead tuck it, then draw and tuck a three. I think she kind of likes this one because it's got a tower or a factory, and it would let her score um, giraffe's cards. And maybe tuck some things too. So I think she'll go ahead and meld that. And we'll go back over to Giraffe. Alright, Giraffe has this Lisbon. Which is a nice move for her because it lets her drop two fives. And gives her one of those coveted Artifacts of History, this time it's going to be a three. Philosopher's Stern, Stern, Stone. Uh, return a card from your hand. Score a number of cards from your hand equal to the value of the card returned. That's great if you have a lot of cards. She doesn't. So she'll probably get rid of the Philosopher's Stern. Um, that darn dancing girl is still there, isn't it, Giraffe? Well, let's look at the cards you got. You got uh, Societies and Coke. You don't want to meld the Societies, that's for sure. Um, Coke looks good. Let's go ahead and meld Coke, especially since she has this score a top card with a tower from anywhere. And that would give you a factory dominance, so she... So uh, Banana will be less likely to do that. And if she does do it, you at least get to score some of her cards. All she'd get from Giraffe is a subdue needle anyway. Um, so she could still use this to... I don't think she wants to use it anymore. What's her points? Eight, nine. She needs to get one more point and then she can get the achievement. I think what she's going to do is um, go ahead and use homing pigeons. Display left, but Giraffe gets to do it first. I think Giraffe will. And get a 5 City of Destiny, Boston. That's, that's very good. Um, and she's going to get a Milan. Also good. And then... Machiavelli. I actually won once with Machiavelli playing other people. Because uh, I was playing people who don't read your cards. 
So they didn't realize that Machiavelli could anything I'd splayed right that wasn't splayed on any other player's board just counts as an achievement. So I just got some extra achievements. They didn't even realize it, and I won that way. So that's great. Um, that was her first action. So what she wants to do next, I think she's going to go ahead and meld Machiavelli and fade Yi Sung Sin. So we can only have one leader or figure in the sand showing at a time. Let me check the music real quick because I think that was the last of that album. Will it just play something else? So let's start it over. This is Creation by Joe D'Agostino. Pretty good album. All right, over to Giraffe. She's going to use, does she want to use her Coke or does she want to use Boston? I think she wants to use her Coke first to draw and tuck a six, or draw and tuck a four, excuse me. And then, got all these bonuses she's getting, really nice. And then draw and reveal a six. If it has a, a factory, meld it, otherwise foreshadow it. She doesn't mind foreshadowing it because she is going to get two sixes. So that will let, oh, she wanted to get rid of this Philosopher's Stone too. Sorry, I forgot to do that. I think we'll maybe try to stop around seven so I can watch the Krollmeister sisters. Oh yeah. She do, definitely wants to do that. Oh, is it just playing the same song again? I thought it would go through the playlist. Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll hear what this is. Okay, so she'll go ahead and meld Boston now to get the two sixes. All right, looks good. And now over to Banana. Banana's gonna achieve. Um, and then, does she want to use Machiavelli or Milan? I think she's going to use Milan. She's getting a little behind in age, and that could be bad if she gets too far behind. All right, there we go. Now let's go back over to Giraffe, who is going to meld something and forecast something. She wants to meld a six. So she's looking at shrapnel or emancipation. Um, emancipation would sadly cover up reformation, which is a really nice card. Uh, but it demands she, uh, the opponent transfer a card from their hand to giraffe score pile. If they do, they get to draw six, and then you display a red or purple cards right. Or shrapnel, which would cover up coke. I think she'll do shrapnel to cover up coke. Oh, actually, Reformation, with the card she's planning on melding, she's going to cover up Reformation anyway. And Coke is kind of cool, but I don't think she really cares. We'll go ahead and do Emancipation, just to get that nice purple thing going. All right. So Kaleidoscope. Oh, but that's a dancing girl color. She's still okay, but it's getting kind of hairy here. Oh, well, she already did it. Draw and meld a seven. This isn't good. You may display your color of that card's right. Okay, that's gonna put her at three, five, seven versus five, seven, ten. I think that's still okay. That's gonna give her a seven, City of Destiny. Whew. Okay, so as long as Dancing Girl doesn't get her, Giraffe's looking really good right now. She has another action still, too. That was all one action. Is there a way can, she can cover up some of these light bulbs? Jiminy Criminal. She can rearrange things with publications. Um, maybe she wants to meld this first. 
Yeah, because she's not going to be able to get Dancing Girl off on her right now. So she'll mail this first, get two eights. Really good for giraffe. The eights have kind of melded with the sevens. I think they got put away wrong. Let me take a look. Okay, so yeah, a lot of the sevens are mixed with the eights, it looks like. Yeah. Two eights from Montreal. Home of the famous Expos. And we will go back over to Banana. Now, Banana has a five now, and she has something she could forecast. So maybe she just wants to do that, just to get the fives going. So she has measurement. You may reveal and return a card from your hand. If you do, display that color of your cards right and draw a card of value equal to the number of the cards on your board. Um, that wouldn't be too bad. Not super exciting because she doesn't have very deep uh, stacks. Her stacks are rather shallow. Um, she octant. Mean you transfer a top red or green card with a leaf or a factory from your board to my board. Now, she doesn't have crown dominance though. Giraffe kind of has dominance in everything. She really needs to get the dancing girl to work. Um, hmm. Yeah, Giraffe has her on leaves. She has her on factories. She doesn't have her on towers. I think what she's going to do is go ahead and use Machiavelli. I mean, again, that would let Giraffe do it first. She can't do anything without Giraffe copying, and um, she wants to play things conservatively. I think she's going to go ahead and meld the lightning rod. Yeah, that's nice because it decreases the number of light bulbs she has, which will make it so that she could maybe get Dancing Girl to work. To do Octant. Um, the demand will not happen, but she gets to draw and foreshadow a six, which could give her a, an achievement opportunity later on. If it's a blue card, it's not. Um, but Giraffe also draws and foreshadows a six. All right. Now, Giraffe is a little worried now because she has five, seven light bulbs. Um, Banana has four, and when she uses Dancing Girl, that will be seven light bulbs. So she's going to need to um, make some of those light bulbs disappear. Fortunately, she has Publications, which is kind of the best card for this particular situation because it allows her to rearrange the order of one of her cards and then also splay up. So if she can just change this so that there's no light bulbs on top or change this one so there's no light bulbs on top, I think she'll go ahead and do this one first. I mean, paper's a great card, but not going to work right now. Actually, I think first before she even does that, she wants to meld an eight. So she has, so she gets to draw an eight city of destiny. And she will, oh, even better. She'll meld socialism to forecast vaccination. Why not? No, the reason why not is because it would give her a big bonus. She's not going to forecast anything. And then she'll do the publication thing that we just talked about. Get a nice upward splay. And how can I get this to stay on camera? I guess we've got a good amount of head space, so this isn't gonna be a problem. All right, which will give her a eight City of Destiny. Very good. This will cover up more light bulbs. So now she has four light bulbs. Um, Banana has seven with the Dancing Girl, so I think she feels pretty safe. She, she just has to be conscious of it and not forget. All right, Banana, how are you gonna respond to all this madness? The game looks like it could over be over soon. Um, we're kinda almost out of time. Maybe we'll do one more round of turns and then be done. We'll say that. Okay.
Okay, we need to come up with some way to decrease our light bulbs. That's kind of what the race is, and that publications is really giving us a headache. Um, and it's also helping us because it has a lot of light bulbs. Let's do. Let's see what happens if we splay this right. So she's going to splay uh, a color right that's currently splayed left. I think Banana will take her up on that and do it as well. No, actually, I don't think she will. Nah, she might as well. And she's doing red because red does not typically have light bulbs. If, in case you don't get what's going on, or if you're just joining us, or if you missed something because I didn't explain it correctly, probably. Um, Banana has this card called Dancing Girl that she can do this compel with to transfer Dancing Girl to their board, right? So if that happens and Dancing Girl gets to essentially everyone play, everyone who's playing is bored, then Banana just automatically wins. It's a, it's a number one card. It's from age one, but it's incredibly powerful if you can get it to work because you just win the game. Now, however, in order for it to win, she has to have equal or less of the light bulb icon on her board. And she keeps having too much. And it, one of the reasons she has too much is because Dancing uh, Girl itself has three light bulbs on it. All right, so she's going to splay her red cards right, which gets rid of one of her light bulbs, which is nice. Also gives her a five city of destiny and I feel like there was something else she she would get from that um, I don't think I don't think there's and anything I think that's it oh no she gets a this was what it was she gets a figure in the sand which can be good because she can use this to get rid of Machiavelli and really put Giraffe in a dangerous, dangerous position. So if she melds this right here, then she can make Machiavelli go away, and which also gives her points, which she likes to achieve. She's a points and achieve type person. All right, so Giraffe is looking at a dangerous place now. She has four light bulbs. She needs to get it down to one in order to not be in trouble. She has publications, which can help. All of this is like, essentially, even though, even if Giraffe can get out of it, which I don't know if she can, actually. Even if she, if, even if she can get out of it, she's spending all of her time on it, which is, which is tough. Um, so publications isn't going to save her. She can get public publications can remove one light bulb, essentially. Um, so she's got to hope for something else. She can return all opponents' top figures. That doesn't make more light bulbs. Ah. What are her things here? Um, vaccination might be her only chance. <laughs> I think it is actually. Okay, so here's what she's gotta do. Um, she's gonna meld this card. That covers up one of her light bulbs, which is good. So she's at three now. Actually, no, that, that actually does save her. Um, makes her draw two nines. But then here's what she wants to do. She wants to do vaccinations, hoping, praying, please, make it so that um, Banana inadvertently draws and melds something with a light bulb. Because vaccination demands, she returns all the lowest cards in her score pile, which is all these fours which is good in another way for giraffe. And then, then she gets to draw and meld a six as sort of a consolation for having to do that. Now she's hoping this, this six has light bulbs. It does not, unfortunately. 
Um, and then she draws and melds a seven. By she here, I mean banana. That was a forecast. Unfortunately, she covered up the vaccination. All right. She's still safe for now from the dancing girl. Uh, she has one more action. She's not going to use genetics. She's going to meld computers instead. And I, I feel like we're close enough to the end of the game that we're just going to keep playing until we're done because I don't want to do a real people multi-game solitaire mega tournament stream that just is like one turn. Um, she melts computers. I think she'll meld computers and then just hope that she can win on her next turn. But she doesn't really have any score. Um, a lot of things will let her score. Okay, so she melded computer. She's in age nine. No dancing girl for you yet, banana. You're getting very close. You need to get rid of this one light bulb. If there's a way to do that. I don't know that there is. But nice of giraffe to get you into the sixes. So even though the dancing girl might not like give victory to Banana, it, it is kind of ruling the way Giraffe has to play. Okay, so what does Steamboat do? It's not going to do anything. It's a demand, and Giraffe has more of the icon, and Giraffe has ruined her score pile. All right, we're not going to sweat. We're going to draw six. Bifocals. You may return a card from your forecast. If you do draw and foreshadow a card of value equal to the card return, that sounds pretty good. So maybe we want to forecast this. No, we don't. It has a light bulb, and we're sticking with our dancing girl. So we'll go ahead and meld this anyway. Um, yeah. So we're going to draw and foreshadow a card of any value. We will go ahead and pick a six. We probably don't have much time left. There's that blue card we're looking for. Good. Um, she can return a card from her forecast. She will return this hot air balloon in order to for forecast a different card. And technically, I should be doing this with Giraffe first because Giraffe would get to copy this. Giraffe is going to forecast a 10, I guess. All right. You may return a card from your forecast if you do. Oh. Actually, let's just go ahead and finish Banana's whole thing. She'll just play these right. Lots of points now. Or lots of bonuses showing. I don't think Giraffe wants to play these right. Nope, not going to do that. Um, she'll go ahead and return this in order to forecast a different six. Doesn't like that one any better. And that's it. That's it for um, Banana's turn. She melded, melded, and dogma, dogma. She drew and melded, actually. Oh, she drew, melded, and forecast, right. Okay. So, Banana, who actually gets the Empire achievement, not that it's going to matter, but it might, because she has three each of the icons. She's going to go ahead and use computers. She can splay her red or green cards up. She'll splay her red cards up. She does not want to play her green cards up. Because that would reveal more light bulbs. Gives her a 9 City of Destiny. Um, draw and meld a 10. Execute each of its non demand dogma effects. Do not share them. It's just a demand, so it won't do anything. Um, I'm looking at score here because that can really matter for right now. John score skip six if no player has more leaves than factories on their board. That's not going to do anything. Okay. Um, she doesn't want to use socialism. I think she's going to go ahead and use computers again. That's kind of dangerous though because she could draw and meld something with um, light bulbs inadvertently. I think what she's going to do, she doesn't mean to use Hong Kong either, because that also reveals light bulbs. This dancing girl is a pain in giraffes. Bottom. 
All right, she'll draw. That's it. Okay, back over to Banana now. Banana's still kind of treading water. Even though she's keeping Giraffe at bay with this Dancing Girl, she's not been able to do a whole lot. She can do something with Barometer, though. She's just got to hope that Banana doesn't already have this. Hmm. I don't think she wants to. She doesn't want Banana to get, or Giraffe to get her achievement. She might be about ready to give up on Dancing Girl. It's a little too, too little too late. And here we have this kind of cool card. Or a blue card for your hand. I don't know. I think Banana kind of backed herself into a corner. I think she just has to kind of keep waiting for Giraffe to mess up. That might be her only hope right now. Um, yeah, this is really, really sad. I think she will. Hmm. It's kind of like she just wants to give up her turn, really. I think she's going to give up on Dancing Girl. She wants to give up on something, give up on the Dancing Girl. Then she's going to draw a... Oh, she can meld this. Which will give her... That counts as an achievement, so that's good. Moonlight Sonata. Choose a color on your board having the highest top card. Meld the bottom card of your board of that color. Claim an achievement, ignoring eligibility. Does she have anything where she has the highest top card? Probably not. Nope, she doesn't. All of Giraffe's things are seven or higher. Um, but she's going to meld this anyway. And the reason why is she would like to forecast. So surprise, I have the most light bulbs. Um... Draw seven. I'm gonna let her draw seven. She can play her yellow cards right, which also gives her a city of destiny. All right, you can't give up, even though it's looking grim. Okay, and we are gonna go ahead and, should we meld software and dogma it, or should we just do computers and see what happens? Um, let's go ahead and just do computers and see what happens. Red or green cards up, she'll display these up. Gives her a 10. City of Destiny. Oh no, she already has one. Never mind. I think what she'll do first, actually, we're going to pass it. We're going to, um, what were these splayed? Left or right? I think left. Um, she's going to go ahead and meld this Hong Kong first. She lets her display her purple cards up. Doesn't have to worry about showing her light bulbs anymore. And it gives her another 10. And then also a City of Destiny. Um, I think she'll meld this one, which counts as a achievement, and she also gets a special achievement for, um, Playing up with via a um, city card, something that's already splayed up. So she'll take the fame achievement, and then by melding that, she's going to go ahead and meld this one too, I guess. Yeah, yeah, she's not going to. All right, all done. Um, over to Banana. Banana's got her sevens now. She is going to. So now light bulbs two five, 
We got two. Three, yep, she still has more. She's gonna meld fertilizer via stethoscope, um, which gives her another seven. She's just kind of looking for something at this point because she relied on the dancing girl too much. Um, then she'll go ahead and forecast loom. You may return two cards of different values from your score pile. If you do, draw and tuck three sixes. Yeah, she, she doesn't care about that. Because um, really, I think this would just give Giraffe a special achievement. All right. Um, and then... She will mail Tehran which gives her an achievement. The Splain Right achievements, the similar thing to what um, Giraffe just got. And I think that's it for her. Okay. It's just a matter of time before before a giraffe has this, it looks like it's not looking close at all to me from where I'm sitting. Maybe you see something different than what I'm seeing, but that's what I see. Um, yeah, you might as well forecast this. Let's go ahead and use software. Mailed it. Forecast this. It takes away an achievement, but she's going to try to win on points, I think. Basically, uh, Giraffe has to, or Banana has to return this card. Yeah. Um, and then Giraffe gets to draw and score six. That's not very much for her to get to do, but it was a kind of a freebie because it was a foreshadowed card. Um, then she'll go ahead and use software to draw and score a 10. Then draw and mill two 10s and automatically activate the second 10. AI. Draw and score 10. If robotics and software are top cards on any board, the single player with the lowest score wins. It's very good that robotics is not on the board right now. Giraffe actually has it in her hand um, right here. If she had had that melded as well, then Banana would have automatically won. There's a lot of cards in the 10s that will do these kind of like automatic um, score or automatic activating of things. And that's where that's kind of like the um, safety measure on there is the AI. The AI can like sneak up and get you. But I do think Giraffe got the something achievement for having a lot of clocks. World achievement. All right, matter of time, matter of time here. Um, yeah, Banana's turns are just not very fun for me right now because it doesn't seem like she can do anything, which is unusual in my innovation experience. But partly it's because of her play style, I think, is, is different. And so maybe that means I'm being successful in playing differently uh, via banana. All right. um... Yeah, I don't know that she has really any, like, I mean, she could try for, like, an artifact that would be helpful, maybe. I think she's going to just... No, she doesn't want to melt there, though. She's going to draw. And... She's going to meld because that does give her an artifact of history that maybe will help her. Let you know when she gets a turn again if she does. All right. Over to Giraffe. Where she can just kind of software it up. So, yeah, the game's going to be over. Giraffe just has to do software one time and she wins. So that's going to do it for this Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament. And again, let's go over to our scoreboard here. All right. So if we're looking here, Banana was the loser, much like when Stubby lost the last one. And 
Uh, Bananas got an incredibly positive score of positive 344. So again, no one is going to get removed from the tournament, which I actually like. I, I always have a hard time saying goodbye, but I also don't like because we're, we'll never get out of the English leg unless we get down to 10 people and we can play that game of ghetto. Um, but I appreciate you joining me and enjoying this kind of lopsided, but not really, uh, game of innovation. That, that dancing girl and Banana's willingness to cling to it really affected the play quite a bit. Um, so next time we play, it's going to be Giraffe versus Pinky for the innovation, innovator tile. Um, and they will get more points and someone will get less points. And that'll be it. So thanks again for coming. And we'll see you next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. We're in the English leg still.